it's working because guess what? There's been VC, EOS VCs that came before you guys. Right. Like tomorrow came up in January, right. like the first one, but everybody knows SVK. We've just come to the end of a 26 hour hackathon. All the guys in the room, you can see behind me, beside me, left and right, have been here all night hacking away, really just coming up with the best product solution with regards to the challenge here for the EOS Hackathon San Francisco. It's been an awesome evening and an even better morning. I think the uh, vibe in the room, as you can see, everyone's pleased that they've got to the hour. Everyone's really excited about what comes next. So everybody submits their projects. All the projects get vetted by judges. There is two different screening processes, and then we are left with 10 projects, which will be in the grand finale, which will happen in the main auditorium, whereby there'll be 10 projects and there'll be some Q&A, all to find out the top one, two, and three. But I think it's been organized excellent the amount of talent that we've seen in the room from San Francisco and the support from all the years community and Block One has been nothing short of amazing. Here's the deal, right? The venture capital model is changing, as too is everything. We understand we're not the big boys in the room. We understand we're not the deepest pool of capital or the guys with the longest amount of track record. But what we do believe is that we have a power of the community and what we do believe is that over the next five to 10 years where we want to be, how people view and look and make decisions on, on, on capital allocation and also how you put yourself in a situation to network and get deal flow will be so much more transparent and visual. You know it's, it's working because guess what? There's been VC, EOS VCs that came before you guys. Right. Like tomorrow came up in January, like right. the first one, but everybody knows SVK. Right, like, <laughs> okay. Well, like, <laughs> that's probably down to all the team, right? <laughs> yeah. But um, we're certainly working hard, and uh, we also believe that we're at the right start of this, right? We spoke the other night. So how did you guys find the whole experience? How did you find mentoring? Um, honestly, I think these hackathons, each time, the level of developers are like, upgrading. Like, as the software matures, as like, more people get interested into blockchain, it's just like, like great projects I've seen. Well. Um, from my experience of judging at London, um, you can have a great team and a great project, but if they don't come across well in that three minutes, they can literally just get, like it's brutal. It's really, really brutal. I, I've been telling them, you know, the UI, UX, and the pitch is very important. You're spot on. Like, the code, yeah, it's a yeah. hackathon, but, you know, like, don't think about the legalities, worrying about yeah. this stuff, like, the efficiency, like, forget sell, about that. Yeah, sell, sell, sell it, yeah. Sell, sell, sell the overall solution, um, and, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, you're right. And, you know, after that, you'll have time to work on the code and really develop that out, but, uh, anyway, I think you're absolutely right. So, uh, I'm really excited, so, let's see what's happening. This is the problem that we're addressing or solving and this is how we're gonna do it. You have to tee that up. Hmm. So what is the name? Because I didn't What's hear that. Stable Bank. Stable okay. Bank. Okay, so uh, ma make sure you come out and you say, introducing Stable Bank. Then Pause. Say, then say, here's the problem, right? And then once you've announced the problem, tell them very concisely the solution, right? Then go into all the details. But you wanna definitely be very clear about you know, the problem, and, you, and the stable bank solution, right? Mm. All right. All right. I'm just giving you that, that's my personal advice, you do what, what you want with it. And at the end, you then repeat stable bank. The bank that will solve this problem and also answer the questions of bum 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 bum. Whatever the challenge is, okay? You've got to put that in there, which will also stable bank, which will solve the problem of this and have an incentive layer for all. Stable bank. Thank you very much. Like, tee it up. The content is right, but also you're going into an auditorium or the, uh, the tent. You've got to be loud. You've got to be loud and clear. So turn the volume up and just go for it. Well done, mate.
Knock it cheers, out of the park. Good luck to you. Hey, cheers. good luck to you, okay? What about the idea itself? I just really want to learn about how you think about the idea itself. Uh, yeah. Tied to a stable coin with... Uh, I think having a stable coin in this is really good. I think the idea is, is definitely something that's out there. Um, it's hard to know without, without your pitch, but it doesn't matter because that's your project, so you just got to deliver it now, man. The die has been cast, the train has left the station, now you got to hammer it home. It's all about delivering the message to the audience. You can right. do it. You can do, you can do right. it. You can. Cheers, we cheers. got you, we got you. <laughs> you all right? Where have you been? Around. Fuck, how come no one connected us? I don't know. I thought I, I, was, thought, the only, I, I, thought I was the only token Irishman. No, no, I'll tell you <laughs> what. I'll tell you what. We, yeah, we, we are, there's two tokens. The blockchain is now between Cork and Dublin, yeah? Cork it's a tight blockchain. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's great to meet you. And uh, I mean, how did you get here? Where do you live? So he's part of, he's a pro chief project officer for okay. Airdrop Stack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And, and are, you, are you based yourself out of Cork still? Out of Cork, yeah. yeah. Cork, okay. So, like, our developer, Nathan, is in Sydney. Okay. So, 10 p.m. in Cork. 4 or 5 p.m. in Chicago and Toronto, and then 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning for him. Right. We're on Zoom. Oh, okay, brilliant. So we all met each other for the first time physically here. So. Oh, today? Oh, yeah. well, oh, sorry, at the well, start of the hackathon. That's great, yeah. isn't it? Oh, it's mad. It's excellent, it's mad. mad. Um, I know that there is an EOS Dublin, and I've met those guys once or twice. Dublin, yeah. And there's some girl as well, I, I hooked up to her on LinkedIn. She's a, a blockchain. Writer, oh. presenter. Oh, you have to you have to watch those uh, those know, yeah. those ladies of the night locking you up on, on LinkedIn. <laughs> keep, keep your enemies close. You know. <laughs> okay, great to meet you. To I'm Lovely Shane. You. Shane. Shane. Uh, thanks Shane. for the connect. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll be back in about an hour, and we'll see you then. Okay. See you later, boys. See you later. Well, I mean, being part of the hackathon is obviously more fun. Oh, really? Okay, oh, really. Yeah, definitely, but. <laughs> Mentoring, like, it did feel actually really good to like give back a little bit, right? Because like, I hacked the last time, and now I get to help a bunch of teams, right. and like, so, yeah, it felt good. It felt good. You know, I, I meet a lot of people in blockchain, and they go, "This is my only operational role." And this is my last roll of the dice. I'm gonna make this, you know, yeah. I'm gonna take this all the way, you know, and then, then I'm finished. And you've had a lot of exits, you've had a lot of senior roles. Yeah. I mean, how inspiring do you find it is to work with, you know, people like Mark, Baba, and, and all the kind of younger team, the techies, the developers. Yeah. I know from Hughes and our perspective of being in such a financial industry perspective, it's really uh, motivating to come and meet younger guys. And in fact, there was one guy that we met over the weekend who was like 18 years old, um, who had been working as an advisor for one of the big venture capital firms. And we just thought, isn't that amazing where someone so young can come through who knows so much and can actually add value to the older guys. Yeah. Right. But I think this time it's, it's, it's wonderful because it's not just for the West Coast. It's not yeah. just for people that have accounts with Robbie Stevens yeah. or Goldman Sachs or Morgan yeah. Stanley. You know, it's for everybody who wants to get yeah. involved. It's for everybody who wants to add something, yeah. you know, whether it's on the dev side or the community side or the investment yeah. side. So, um, yeah, it's, I think it's a, it's a wonderful time and it's so early and yeah. sure there's going to be a huge drop off in failure rate because we don't really know how adoption yeah. is and will yeah. and when will take place. So. You know, we're all shooting for projects and the market will decide, but... What you study in Colombia? I study economics. What I'm trying to find out is what the um, opportunity is with regards to having a return, right? Like, yeah. what what I understand the problem this solves, um, and that's a problem that exists today. Will that problem exist in five years' time? And have you got a revenue model that for an investor 
one, they can value the business in a fair oh, and correct fashion. Yeah. And two, right. can you follow through with some type of revenue and build a business which, which becomes a real business and the problem still exists? And I don't really know the answer to that. Absolutely. Right. What were you requiring yeah. um, in order to uh, have the business move to the next level? Right. So what we see about SVK is you guys are super plugged into the ecosystem. Yep. You're a major player. You're super respected. So we think that, you know, from the perspective is that we need two types of players for this. Industry. Right. One is liquidity providers. One is cash and kind of strategic partners. So we see you guys at the strategic partners level. We don't okay. need to raise a super amount of cash. Yep. Maybe two mil, three mil is perfectly okay. fine for yep. us to bring it to the next level. But we need people who are able to be in it with the long term and yep. essentially help us onboard liquidity providers, customers, yeah, and sure, you guys. You're to come to us because we've got relationships with the block producers to do that for the exactly, exactly. And also an but we don't need well. to over cash you know exactly we don't need to <coughs> essentially overdo it on cash investment it, it, point, is the current project generating revenue today from a strategic value add point um we have been building out our network our community like it's what we do we're not check writers and that's right. it that's boring that doesn't interest at all Money and capital will be everywhere when this market recalibrates. What we do is that we come on board and we open up everything for you. Our community, our vlog, our podcast, our events, our excellent videography by my man Marco, our network of block producers, our contacts at Block One, our other venture capital partners. Like when we get into something, we really own it because we want to see you succeed because if you succeed, we succeed. Um, we are very diligent with our uh, due diligence. Um, we uh, are in it for a long period. Uh, we've got a long-term view. Our fund is a seven-year fund. So we're looking to take an equity stakes and to see you guys grow. Um, and at every point, um, from a cap table raising standpoint, or from when you come up with a new development, we're there. But we're, um, we're extremely selective because we're a team of eight in total and we can't do everything. Um, but it's been wonderful to meet you guys. Yeah, and thank you so much for the time. Yeah, I, you're definitely on my radar and uh, I think we we'll, should open it up to the rest of the team and we'll, we'll take it from there. Let me give you my business card. <laughs>